Hi there, welcome to Chemistry 3007, Approximate Wave Functions at the University of Western Australia. Right, in the last few lectures we've worked out how to evaluate the matrix elements of the Hamiltonian between a determinant wave function. And I showed you that the energy expression will involve matrix elements involving uh, molecular orbitals the phi's that make up the product wave function. But we need to be able to change the shape of these molecular orbitals in order to optimize their shape. Uh, it's no good just having a fixed shape. So how are we going to change the shape of these orbitals? We're going to use a linear combination of basis functions. So here's one of the orbitals in our product wave function, phi i. And we're going to approximate this as a linear combination of fitting basis functions. So the fitting basis functions are functions f of mu. I'm going to use Greek indices for fitting functions, and I'm going to use Roman capital indices for uh, spin uh, orbitals over here. And here are the fitting coefficients, c mu i. So for every orbital i, we have a series of fitting coefficients for i equals 1. For the second orbital, 5, 2, we have another set of fitting coefficients different to the first, and for the third and for the fourth. So this set of coefficients here uh, is called the molecular orbital coefficient matrix. Now you'll recognize that this looks like um, all those expressions we had previously where we were using combinations of vectors to approximate another vector and you know that's not an accident all of that was a setup to get you up to here so anyway the main thing is by changing these coefficients we can change the shape of these orbitals and the whole problem now becomes determining what are these numerical coefficients here right the second question is, what are these functions? Hmm. Well, they can be anything. 